Hey everyone and welcome to the another episode. I would say thank you so much for those who subscribe to my channel. Last video brought for about 5 new subscribers which is great to start with. In this one I'm going to let you know how you can create swing waves which is pretty awesome, which is cool and you can use in your motion graphics. I'm really happy that I'm trying to create another episode. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Let's get into it. I have downloaded my file from Freepik. Freepik is a website that you can download any vector files or PSD, PNG, whatever that you want. Uh, it is really easy to use. I download this one from Freepik and uh, in Adobe Illustrator, I have divided in parts and uh, make sure the order uh, is uh, in the correct way because it's really important when you have uh, many many layers and when you want to animate a specific part like hair and dresses and other stuff okay uh, after that in the after in after effect in the project panel simply double click on it and um, select your file uh, that you saved as Adobe Illustrator import it as a retain layer size because we need to have access to the all layers uh, open it up and then boom you can see your file here click on it and uh, select from up to bottom uh, it's really important because the order of uh, selecting is um, really important in after effect when you go from up to down or down to up in this one i go from up to bottom uh, command C or control C in the project panel we need to create a composition click on the composition and let's call it wave warp 1080 by 1080 it's an Instagram post it's gonna be four seconds for me and uh, I placed um, really red um, background to see my background and um, let's go back to our Adobe Illustrator file uh, Command C and Command V here uh, copy and paste your art in this um, new composition and if you click on source name you're gonna have your uh, correct name that you placed uh, and just, just select on the dress make it um, solo we need to add a mask around the part that we need to wave the dress click on the pen tool and create a mask around the object um, make sure um, in the right part or left part now one of these parts should be fully straight because we have a problem when we use a wave warp in our uh, projects uh, we need to fix it duplicate this dress layer and uh, in the bottom dress hit M and uh, make the add to subtract to see our uh, dress and go to the up layer right click and pre-compose it just call it wave warp and uh, make sure you add move all attributes into the new composition just hit OK which is great and then drag and drop the wave warp from uh, FX and presets to the composition as you can see we have problems in the boundaries okay let's um, change some information here it's it would be 15 by 100 for me which is quite nice let's make it to force two seconds let's see what do we have here uh, when you add two seconds or four or six you have a full loop without any problem okay and then we have two ways to fix the boundary problems double click on your composition go to your composition hit P and uh, change the position all to the right make sure you reach the edge if you hold down the control or command you can do it with more details Go back to the wave warp and hit P, just change the position again. 
command and position which is great let's see what do we have okay in the wave part in the pinning you should put it to the right edge because uh, I placed the right edge for my project as you can see we have a beautiful wave let's set it to 30 which is great okay nice and let's see what do we have oh beautiful please sub sub uh, I want to reach 1 million likes so please sarap sapara, sarapakara. okay for the hair I would say just um, we need to add another mask around our part this one is, is the upper one uh, as you can see my mask duplicate this one go to the bottom hit M and uh, subtract again about the uh, upper hair just right click pre-compose hair two or hair no difference and hit ok ok we need to add wave warp here let's see ok for this one I would like to uh, fix the problem in the second way double click on it go to the composition here is we have a composition um, region if you click on it your mouse would be ready to uh, create a rectangle here it would be like this for me okay nice go to composition and um, click on crop come to region of interest we changed our composition setting here go back to the wave warp and put it back in the effect panel we need to pin the top edge okay great let's see what do we have that's great beautiful okay it's done it wasn't really hard and uh, with simple clicks you can have a beautiful animation in your motion graphics which is great uh, in this part you learn how to uh, resize the composition you learn how to use a wave warp and the other stuff I would say thank you so much I will see you on the next one by the way don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much I will see you in the next one